Today is a travel day. I'm going to the place I've been wanting to go to more than anywhere. And I'm not going to Japan, Korea, or Ethiopia. I'm going to my parents' house because family comes first. After a year of not seeing them, I can't wait. The last time I saw them was nearly a year ago, but this time it's different. We're all vaccinated, the country's much better. I assume there's gonna be a lot more people at the airport. Compared to last year, there was hardly anyone there. So I'm really eager to see what's changed over a year. Now, when I took my trip last year, it wasn't the low point for air travel during the pandemic, but it was pretty close to it. So we'll see how things have changed. Since I'm going to Chicago and the Chicago suburbs, I have to do something very important right now. I have to get a bagel because let's face it, New York City is king with bagels. I need to get my fill before I go. All right, just got back from Brooklyn Bagel and Coffee. I got a coffee and an onion, bacon, egg and cheese bagel. The perfect breakfast, nice and filling. I won't have to spend any money at the airport getting that overpriced, poor quality lunch. The airport food's not that bad, but anyways, this is the perfect breakfast. Gonna fill me up, gonna do some work now, eat my breakfast, and then uh, it's time to go to the airport. Also, a very nice woman at Brooklyn Bagel and Coffee saw my camera, asked if I was a YouTuber, and subscribed to my channel. Plus, she even took a picture of me. Feeling super flattered. Yeah, good day so far. All right, at the airport now, quick Uber ride. I'm at LaGuardia Terminal B. This is the nice shiny new terminal. Honestly, it doesn't look that much more crowded than it was last year. Pretty desolate. Slightly more crowded, maybe just a little bit, but uh, yeah, still pretty sparse. All right, time to check in. All right, so this area is definitely more crowded, more people here, more restaurants seem to be open. And this fountain, this is really cool. This is something that wasn't here last time. Well, the fountain was here, but it has this awesome, awesome light show. Nice addition. And when I say more crowded, I'm comparing it to last year. This is still far from a busy airport. All right, at the gate area. Now, compared to last year, this is only slightly more crowded, just slightly. It still feels completely desolate and weird and strange. At the same time, it is still a slight comfort that there's less people here. I mean, I want it to get back to normal though, but still, it is how it is. Fortunately, I did see more restaurants and bars opened up, so that's a good sign. And most importantly, I saw some coffee places open. That was a serious issue last time. Thank God I'll be able to get a dose of caffeine today because I need it. I really thought LaGuardia would be more crowded. There were certainly more people around than the previous year and additional restaurants were open, but it still had a feeling of emptiness. This was partly due to the time of day that I was traveling, along with the fact that Terminal B is incredibly modern and spacious, allowing everyone to spread out. But other than that, it's a pretty normal airport experience. I still have a bit of time to wait before my flight, so I'm gonna do a little reading, get coffee, of course, and uh, yeah, just relax. Got a cup of coffee from Irving Farmers. 
last year when I couldn't get coffee here. I was cranky, whiny. This year, things are looking up. I will no longer take this for granted. All right, should be boarding soon. Definitely more people here, but uh, can't wait to get to Chicago. While in 2020, my flight to Chicago was only 30% full, this year, every single seat was filled. Despite the mask wearing, this was pretty much a typical flight. While last year, Southwest Airlines only offered water on their flights, this time I had the option of a few different soft drinks. I chose 7-Up. Within two hours, my flight landed at Chicago's Midway Airport. And it was crowded. All right, made it to Chicago Midway Airport. Flight wasn't bad, still feels awkward being a fully booked flight. And uh, you know, economy's never comfy, but during a pandemic, a little awkward feeling. Even though I'm vaccinated and uh, cases are dropping, still awkward. Anyways, Midway seems a bit more crowded than LaGuardia, that's for sure, but uh, yeah, time to go get my bags and get the hell out of here. My trip was all about family. Spending so much time apart from them over the past year, I appreciated every moment. I also had some good food and did some pleasant exploring of the city and surrounding suburbs. But like all good things, it ended too quickly and I was soon waking up at 4am for my flight back to NYC. Unlike LaGuardia, Midway Airport was packed. There were massive crowds at check-in and security, but I still had plenty of time before my departure. At the airport, very, very early start today. Woke up at four. Big line in the security, big line in check-in, but I'm through. Got my coffee, got a donut. Flight should be pretty soon. I got a Donless coffee, gotta eat this donut, and then I'm off to New York. Look at this mess I made. This is the danger of powdered donuts. All right, so I did not get on that flight. The plane was overbooked and I was one of the two unlucky people that didn't make it. Fortunately, the Southwest agents were very helpful. They were able to rebook me on a flight to LaGuardia. Unfortunately, I will have to fly to St. Louis to catch that flight. This day is turning into more of an adventure than I thought it would be. On the plus side, I was given over $1,300 from Southwest to be able to use on travel within the next year. So, you know, that's a nice bonus. One thing's for sure, air travel has changed a lot in the past year. You got fully booked flights, crowded airports. It's more like normal than it's ever been. All right, it's about time to head to St. Louis. Um, I've been to the city before, but I've never been to the airport, so a new experience. Let's continue this adventure. Just like my first flight, this one was completely full and it was delayed a bit, but thankfully it only took 45 minutes to reach St. Louis. That airport seemed crowded as well. All right, in St. Louis, got about an hour before my flight, well, at least boarding for my flight. The flight before wasn't that bad, really quick, squishy, uncomfortable, but uh, it was quick at least. All right, gotta get some lunch now. I got Burger King for lunch. There's not a ton of options here. I wanted something cheap and quick. This will have to do. It's not bad.
Dunkin' Donuts round two. My second Dunkin' Donuts of the day and my second state of the day. This time I got it iced. Boarding should be pretty soon. Now hopefully this New York flight will actually take me to New York. Let's hope. Again, this flight was filled to capacity and was delayed from taking off. But once in the air, things ran smoothly. Back in New York, a lot more crowded here at LaGuardia, but gotta go to the bathroom first. Priorities. There is nothing like a good bathroom break. Feels good to be back in New York. Decent flight, bit of turbulence, but um, you know, it is what it is. Now I have to get my bag, who knows where that is because it came on the flight that I was originally supposed to take, so it is here, sitting around somewhere. Hope I can find it. This day is almost at an end. We're almost at the finish line. Let's find my bag. Right by the check-in area now. I don't know what the deal is. It's not crowded at all. Every other airport today that I went to was crowded. I don't know. Success. All right, got my bag at the baggage claim. Went pretty smoothly. Only one more step to this day. It's now an Uber ride to my apartment. Unfortunately, it's rush hour, so it will probably take a little while, but we're almost there, almost home. Let's go. Waiting on an Uber, almost home. Home. I am finally home and what a day this has been. Now this trip was all about family, but it's also about travel, getting back into it, travel, the thing I love the most, but it also reminds me of the worst parts about travel. Today wasn't very good. To be fair, it could have been much worse, and it was an adventure. Not a very exciting one, but an adventure nonetheless. Plus, I got over $1,300 that I can spend on a trip in the future, which will certainly come in handy because all I do with my money is I either spend it on food or travel, and this covers one of those bases. Now, things obviously didn't run very smoothly, but to be fair, we're coming out of a pandemic. We pretty much went from no travel to everyone's traveling. Obviously, there will be a bit of an adjustment period. Now, despite today's little hiccup, these past two weeks have been awesome. I feel so privileged to have the means to visit my family and to travel again. And this is only the beginning of what promises to be an epic summer. I mean, it literally is. It's literally one day after summer started. So now I can finally rest here in the greatest city on earth, NYC.